Hello there, welcome to Gaming Gossip. Today we have some uh, great news about Dragon Age. Uh, we're on the here, we're on the official website. Uh, I'm just going to switch over to their blog, which is, this is their official website. Uh, it says here, summer is nearly upon us, and as promised, we're ready to provide an update on our big reveal. We'd like to invite the world to join us on Tuesday, June 11th, for the official first look and gameplay for the next Dragon Age. So it looks like we're going to have a look at the uh, new gameplay, finally. Um, I have had a look a bit further. Um, it doesn't. I don't think it says here, but they are going to give us just over 50 minutes uh, of gameplay, which is good. Uh, after Dragon Age Inquisition launched, the studio was given an incredible opportunity to, to explore, test, and validate a variety of gameplay concepts as we worked to determine what the next Dragon Age could look like. We brought everything to the table, which, yes, even included multiplayer concept. This time we spent experimenting and uh, literating gradually taught us a lot. This work and the amazing support from EA helped us to refocus on creating an incredible single player game with all the choices, characters and world building you'd expect from us. So here they did they did some multiplayer. Um, I think a lot of people were a bit annoyed and they were worried that it was going to turn into a live service game. So I think they, they ended up scrapping this. Um, and then refocusing, as it says here, we, we managed on creating an incredible single-player game. So I think they just went back to the roots and basically just made it a single-player game. Uh, at Bioware, we create worlds of adventure and conflict and companionship. Now, where you're at the center of it all, as fans of the franchise know, Dragon Age, uh, the game, has delivered... A new standalone story set in the world of Theodos. Uh, these tables explore epic locales and threats, always thrusting you into a new conflict. Each game also introduces a new lead hero, the Warden. Uh, it could be Hawk, the Inquisitor, uh, that you can call your own. You can expect all that and more in the new game. And of course, uh, much like your own unique hero, it wouldn't be a Dragon Age game without an amazing cast of companions, right? So we are going to get, obviously, a nice interesting set of companions this time around again. Uh, each of the seven unique characters, so we're going to get seven, that make up your companions will have deep and compelling storylines where the decisions you will make, your relationships with them, uh, as well as their lives. You'll unite the team of unforgettable heroes as you take on a terrifying new threat unleashed on the world. Naturally, the Dread Wolf still has an important part in this tale, but you and your companions, not your enemies, are the heart of the new experience. So Dread Wolf is still mentioned here because I will um, just confirm here. It says we proudly introduce to you Dragon Age, the Veil Guard, and you can see it here as well. They have changed the name uh, for those of you that were aware. Uh, it was called Dragon Age Dreadwolf. Uh, they have changed the name now to Dragon Age Veilguard. Uh, we can go over to the website here. We can see Dragon Age Veilguard, uh, full reveal summer. Uh, we can see here it's not fully changed over on the website. They've still got videos to click on, uh, which do have the Dreadwolf title uh, again here. Um, but if we scan over to the games section here in the corner, uh, we can see it has been changed over, so we can see all of the franchise, Dragon Age Origins, Dragon Age 2, Dragon Age Inquisition, and Dragon Age the Veil Guard. So it, it is, it's slowly changing over. They have, they have pretty much told us this information straight away, I think, because they haven't even changed all of the website yet. Oh, it does say here about the minutes. Um, we know you've been waiting a long time for this reveal, so we're ready to show what we've been up to. Uh, we'll see you on Tuesday, June 11th, 8 a.m. PT, uh, at the Dragon Age YouTube channel. So this is where we're going to check it out, on the YouTube channel. Uh, we have over 15 minutes of gameplay from the opening moment, so we're not going to be smack bang into the middle. We're not going to know what's not what's basically uh, trying to figure out what's going on. It will be from the opening moments of the game. It uh, has you jumping back into Theodos on your new adventure. Uh, this moment means so much to everyone at Bioware, and we wouldn't be here without you. Uh, we're ready to have some fun, so join the chat early. Uh, we've got a few special surprises for you. So interested to know what these special surprises are. Um, thank you for all your support. See you soon, Gary McKay. Um, I will add note on uh, something that I've seen on IGN's page. Uh, they still have the tactical pause uh, in the game. 
Um, so you can issue orders to your companions in advance, uh, kind of like queue them up, uh, and it will have real-time, obviously, combat with the pause mechanic that it did have in the previous games. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, all I wanted to do was just get on the Gaming Goss channel and just give you the gossip as soon as possible. Uh, we will be seeing some gameplay from Dragon Age, uh, and it is now called Dragon Age Veilguard. Uh, me, personally, I can't wait. Uh, if we get any more info, I will shove it on the channel. Uh, and in the meantime, um, if you can just give this video a like, maybe subscribe, uh, and you have a great day.